Uh, they might have started it. This might be the real thing. Let me see if I can find the game types real quick before this match starts. There we go. Game types are up. We are playing Oddball on Fissure, my favorite Oddball map. Actually, I like both Oddball on Fissure and Eden. We have Slayer Plaza, Capture the Flag Coliseum, Strongholds Plaza, and Slayer Troops. So two plazas in here. I don't really know how these teams play or who's favored on what. Um, but we're getting into this. Let's see if this is a CTF warm-up that I'm joining or if it's an Oddball on Fissure. Hey, there we go. Oddball. All right, Brad didn't let me know the game started, so I'm upset at him. And we are underway. Let's let's pull this down a little bit. That's too big. With Miguel, he's gonna go on to the plat. He's gonna watch this shortcut jump. Uh, I, in a third person, see if I can find out who has Ovi. I think that's Tommy with Ovi. He's gonna run into Miguel. So Trippy's gonna get, go down here, gets the punch. Does Miguel get the double? Doesn't go for it, and he's gonna go down to the Ovi guy. Uh, and Tommy, let's go over to Saiyan with the overshield. Ball drop. We have the ball. He's gonna be watching the shortcut jump up to the landing. While his teammates, so his teammates are basically doing a two to the right of the ball and overshield to the left, which is a fantastic strategy. You'll see as Renegades, they're spreading out the map right now, but they're gonna lose every single battle that they're in because they're not gonna beat the overshield guy in a in a one v one or a one v two, and they're not gonna beat the other side because they have map control. They're they're waiting for their opponents to push into them, but uh. Um, but Saiyan just not able to do enough on the second map, I guess. Getting assassinated, too. I mean, everything I just said there goes completely out the window when I'm just wrong sometimes, you know? Uh, last guy live, APG. Huge kill on the Trippy there. And he's going to maintain control of the ball. Look at this. His, their opponent's uh, reciprocity. They're not able to push around the, across the map as fast as they wanted to. So even though like it was a 1v1 right there, where the ball guy was the last guy alive, uh, Rested process, you weren't able to push across the map, and Renegades are going to be able to get control of the ball. Not only control of the ball, but control of like the entire gold side of the map here. Rested process, you do get two kills as the ball is rotating away. Look at that ball guy go. He's going to throw it off the map though. Ball is going to be down top middle, and the spawners are going to be able to keep him out. Let's see if Trav let's see what Travis can do here. Travis is going to go down to Eric. He can't do anything, and the ball does get away. Huge play there, but Ola falls off the map. Trippy goes down. Somehow the ball guy dies, and Eric, whoa, whoa he's caught out in no man's land. Let's try and look across the map to where important battles are happening. No, nothing important is happening right now, actually. Joey's just going to run and grab the ball. There you go. All right, Penguin getting the free kill there. It was a perfectly timed kill. If he got that kill earlier, it wouldn't have mattered. Because he got it there, he's opening up the map for his teammates to push. Ola, uh, Ola and Travis end up trading, but Trippy with a kill on APG on the landing. Huge kill there, and they're going to maintain control of red base. At reciprocity off to a stronger start here as they're going to be able to get rack up some time. Boom! Lifting on snipe down. I don't know about this play. He's gonna fight the last guy alive while the f the other two guys alive. They're gonna be jumping at the ball guy. Ola with a nice nade there on Neptune. Snipe down with some decent shots across the map. APG does get a kill landing, and now they're trapping the ball guy. Ball guy's rotating. Oh, but he has he has Ovi. No, he doesn't. He's dead. Ball guy almost got the rotate off perfectly. Do dead here though. Enemy has the ball. Us, uh, yeah. Players are so, yeah, actually, Trippy got a small blue plat. That means they need to rotate it into gold. Unless Trippy just jumps off the map in the finals of this tournament. <laughs> yeah. Neptune 1v1 over here. Let's look across the map while these guys are 1v1ing. Ola wins the 1v1. And they're going to be able to collapse. That's two dead. Watches the ball guy. I think it's APG and Penguin are going to be able to try and throw this off the map. They're not able to though. Huge, huge, huge decision there to go bottom of the base instead of going into the window. I think if you would have went out, if they both went out the window at the same time, they could have thrown this ball off the map. But now because of that, uh, rest of process, you're going to be racking up time here. Travis on the flank though. Let's third person it. He gets the back smack on the ball guy. Gets the double kill onto Ola and re and reciprocity now in shambles because of that flank from Travis. We got to go into his point of view more. He's making a shit ton of plays recently. Nice play. Like, solid uh, attempt there from Snipe Down. Travis with the ball. Is he going to be able to rotate it? His teammate's getting shot in the back. This is terrible. Austin goes down. Travis, he's just going to play the ball, isn't he? No, he, yeah, he plays the ball and almost wins the 1v1. Fine. Up on board with Trippy. Ball's down top middle. 
Trippy is afraid. He should be checking that and then looking back to the top middle. He sees no one top middle. He should be checking it again. There it is. Turning into the 1v1 on Austin. Great timing there from Trippy and his teammate. Wow, Snipe Tag goes down somehow. He must have been a week already. Two kills there. Overshield coming up. Completely forgot to mention that last time it came up. There it is. 47. No. Nice play there by Tommy. He doesn't burn it so Joey can pick up the overshield. Going to drop the ball for his teammate. And here's the setup again. They're going to have the overshield on his lonesome covering the right side of the ball. And the rest of his team covering the left side. Great strategy coming out to pick up a lot of time here. Joey ends up lifting. Uh, nice thrust there to get back on. Sprints at the perfect time to slide back into the base. Still one shot. Now they're going to be doing a normal setup where two guys to the right, one guy landing. Ball guy drops the ball and helps pick up a kill. Now they're going to be playing the ball in the middle of the three players. This is not good though. They're not gonna be able to play the ball. The Renegades end up getting a free kill here on Joey or someone else. The ball is stuck at the back. Yeah, there's the free kill on Joey. The ball is stuck in the back. That's two dead here. Let's see if Zane can do anything. Zane hits a nice grenade on Zane. Zane backs up. Ball guy's not going down fast enough, but they are going to end up picking up all the players here. Here. Here, APG. <laughs> Alright, there you go. All the players. And they didn't play the ball exactly like I was talking about. But Ola gets a free call to Mikwin. And a double perfect from Ola there. Just completely nullifying everything I was saying about the ball not being played. As Reciprocity are pushing rather slowly. There's a great spawn out of APG on the plat. Normally you spawn across the map, but because Reciprocity were pushing so slow, APG gets to spawn on the landing. Gets lifted on by Joey though. But uh, yeah, because of that spawn, they're going to maintain control a little bit. It's going to be a 3v2 here for the ball with Eric pushing cross map. Eric getting a couple of shots. Let's switch over to Travis again as he goes down. That's why you don't switch. You just stay on the same person's point of view. Tommy. Got to go to his point of view. Two dead here on Renegades. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's pull it back. Let's watch some things that are happening. 2v2. Eric and Trippy versus Travis and Zane. Travis just absolutely gets melted. Turns the wrong corner. Reciprocity says uh, some profanity. And, uh, well, so, all right. So Reciprocity gives up control of the ball for the OV. Ooh, Penguin Ninja's, Ninja's Saiyan right there. Not that Saiyan knew anything about it. The OV just gets completely melted. So Reciprocity giving up control of the ball to go for Overshield gets absolutely destroyed because they just walk into the small uh, corridor and just get melted. Trippy off his respawn, trying to work with Ola, getting a free kill on Mikwin. Mikwin doesn't know he's walking into a wall that he can't get past. Oh, nice nade there from Trippy. Gives a double kill. That's three dead. And this is a perfect setup. Let's look at Travis. He's YOLOing in there. And he gets taken out. Alright. But Zane ended up dying there. That's crazy. He's pushing across the top middle of the map. Snipe down, getting two kills. Helping a third kill as Tommy should be able to pick this up. There it is. And the fourth kill. Eric absolutely going off. Putting a crap ton of damage. Gotta, meet, gotta be... Gotta not get fined again. But uh, the ball's not in a good spot. I don't know what ended up having there. Sniped on with like four kills right there, and Tommy just throws the ball on the plat, takes it back in, dies. Pretty bad play, but Mikwin falls off the map, so who cares? As uh, Tommy ends up not playing it there. If Tommy doesn't play that, and if Mikwin doesn't fall off the map, that would have looked really, really good for Renegades. But Reciprocity now pulling ahead as Renegades are just dying one by one. I think APG fell off the map there. Neptune getting picked up, picked off across the map. Penguin getting picked off across the map, and one v one between Joey and Austin. Joey's floating in the middle of, ends up <laughs> he's floating again, and he falls off the map. There it is. <laughs> APG gonna try and get the ball guy. He's gonna try and get him before he plays the ball. Ola doesn't care about playing the ball. It's trying to one v one and actually baits him in there. So with APG going down too fast there, things could be looking up for reciprocity. They get three kills! Insane plays, but APG spawns right there, that's crazy, but all the other spawns were blocked, so it makes sense. If the ball guy drops here, oh. See, what the ball guy should have done there is uh, drop under the platform, thrust back, and then play the ball whenever they kill him. Uh, because APG wouldn't have had an angle, but now the ball's not played. Reciprocity on both sides of the map, they're actually collapsing. The entirety of Renegades is in the center of the map, which you think would be pretty good, but they're getting flanked all over the place right here.
but it doesn't matter. APG with a perfect kill. Travis with a 1v1 win on snipe down. And all the strategy in the world goes out, out the map, outside of the game. Doesn't matter anymore when you win your 1v1s. Win your pivotals, boys. Three dead there. Snipe down last guy alive. Fighting Austin for the ball. I have completely forgotten about overshield like three times this game. Travis on the huge flanket, doing a ton of damage there. Two players, one shot. One goes down APG, and the last guy, because he was one shot, he's able to hold the ball for a while. Double kill there from APG. Only 20 seconds down here. Eric on the plat gets five cross map by Travis. Kills that I just can't get. That's why he's in the finals right now, and I'm not. Tommy jumping in small door. APG thinks he's coming in the bottom door. Small door. Saying, oh, APG just showing. What's up? Saying this is this is my game. Get out of it. Only down 10 seconds now. They're in a really good position. Zane goes down. Balls in the back of the base. This is the second time this has happened. I forget if uh, I think reciprocity were the guys to do it last time, but they're not gonna be able to play it. With Zane going down fast, here comes the collapse out of reciprocity and renegades all go down. Enemy has the ball. Joey one shot with the ball, ain't afraid to hold it. He's confident in his decision to dodge, or his ability to dodge grenades. Sane gets a free kill. Ola goes down on the other side though. As you see, because Ola goes down on the left side, Joey's gonna rotate it to the right. And now here he's in this weird, weird position where, well I guess if he gets hit by the grenade he's gonna throw it off, but he could've just sat on that plat, and because there's only like two players left, he could've just sat there. And if the guy comes to his left, he goes right. If the guy comes to his right, he goes left. But because he got hit by the grenade, all strategy goes out the window and you just throw it off. Looks like... Uh, I don't know what happened to OB again. Travis won that 1v1? Travis was one shot when he came through the door. Trippy missed the shot and then missed the shot again. Woo! EPG is definitely the ball carrier on this team. 70 seconds. I'm pretty sure he was the same last time as well. Ball incoming. Three dead, ball going off the map, switching over to a reciprocity point of view, and he gets away with it. Nice play there. And now they're all going to be spawning gold landing and in gold base. He's going to be able to walk the ball into blue base eventually. There it is. If he doesn't go down here, they're going to rack up a lot of time here. Saying getting a couple of shots, ends up going down, but they're still racking up time. 40 seconds left in the game, and they're up by 30. Th like they're up by 30 now. They need to kill the ball guy now. APG's going for it. Can he do it? Throws it off the map and they need to hold it the entire time. 32 seconds ahead. 34 seconds. Zane's got to grab it and not let go of it. Here it goes. Zane jumping into the small window. Two dead here on both teams. Zane's going to jump it up to the plat. Travis needs to relay this. Drop the ball. Grab it. What a play there from Travis. Does he stay alive though? No, that's it. Wow. That was almost cool. That was almost cool, but... That's that's kind of like the splice in the in the last game, uh, in that refuge flag game where they end up rallying the flag back into the base. Pretty much the same thing. Travis is like, or APG Penguin was saying, "Hey, we can't we can't let this ball drop. Like you have to grab it as soon as I die." So you see, just Travis just huddling up with him, but uh, didn't matter. Reciprocity was just collapsing, and that's game one, going over to reciprocity. Looking at the stats here, uh, just typically isolate right there. Everyone having a, around 25 kills uh, versus around 20 kills. So about a 20 kill difference. Now let's update the text. Oh, 1-0. Boom.